Today, we can access quantum computers from anywhere in the world, on the cloud, as long as you have an internet connection. Every few months, it seems, there's a new groundbreaking paper that we all have to stay on top of. A challenging task because of the explosion of activity in the last quarter century. The Physics of Computation conference emerged out of major debates in the fields of both physics and computation in the late 1970s. At that time, none of these people were doing quantum computing or quantum information as their day job. This was simply a side project for all of these people, and not even one that everybody took seriously. A conference that happened here in Endicott House 40 years ago was instrumental in starting the physics of information processing as a, a respectable field of inquiry. Bennett then wrote his now famous reversible computation paper, which he presented at this 1981 Endicott conference, which we are commemorating today. We will have a panel discussion from world-renowned experts in the field who will talk about the discoveries that led up to the present moment, where we sit currently in the field, and where they would like to see the field progress in the next four decades. I'm going to talk to you about the history of superconducting qubits, I'll be talking about some recollections about when I um, discovered the factoring algorithm. But first, I thought we should go back and talk about where I was when this conference was being held. We hope that today will serve as a celebration of the event that occurred 40 years ago, keep us motivated for the next 40 years, and help inspire the next generation of scientific leaders in the fields of quantum information.